one of the bigger, I would say, side effects with bevacizumab would be um, high blood pressure. And we do see this in patients who either have high blood pressure to begin with, or they could develop high blood pressure on treatment. Um, it can be a cumulative issue as well. So the more treatments of the bevacizumab they have, it can become more of an issue. And uh, we often have to put patients on antihypertensives, sometimes multiple antihypertensives to maintain adherence to the bevacizumab because it can often lead to us uh, unable to give them their treatment if the high blood pressure is uncontrolled. It's also very important that we educate patients on some of the more risky side effects. While they're low, there's still a risk that patients can develop blood clots or heart attack while receiving bevacizumab. So uh, proper education on what uh, signs and symptoms of a heart attack are, what signs and symptoms of um, a blood clot might be, and um, seeking them, seeking urgent care if these uh, were to develop. Um, certainly, uh, being aware of patients' past medical history prior to starting treatment is crucial with this um, agent as well, um, whether they might have some underlying heart disease or risk factors that would uh, be potentially a reason not to give them this drug, um, and also working with their cardiologist or their primary care physician to optimize their medication so that they can stay on the treatment. And then regarding cetuximab, uh, cetuximab is a uh, I would say the biggest side effect with cetuximab would be skin changes. Uh, patients are often, while they're on treatment, they're often worried about other things that they might have, if the physical elements, so meaning skin changes that would lead to a reason for somebody to think, oh, they're on, they're on chemotherapy or they're, you know, what's, what's going on with that person? They, they want to maintain their normal life without having some kind of physical um, barrier or physical change that's going to alert society on what's going on with them. So uh, the skin changes associated with cetuximab, while they, they can occur early on, um, it's important that we let patients know that uh, this is something that we can often control uh, with different, uh, anti, uh, or different antibiotics and creams and um, while it can kind of peak early on, it does, it does improve the further into treatment. If they were to have um, excessive sunlight, it could make the treatment, it could flare it more. Give them ways so that they feel that they have more control of the situation so that uh, they can gain control of uh, the, ch the changes that are occurring. Uh, besides, uh, aside from that, I would say there's a uh, risk for changes in their electrolytes or sometimes patients can have diarrhea associated with that medication too. So again, educating patients on um, hydration, proper use of anti-diarrheals, and we um, often will check their lab work um, with their biweekly therapy to make sure that their electrolytes are um, in check.